Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. At RenewEnergy.com, we believe in the power of clean, sustainable energy to transform the way we live and work. That's why we offer a range of solutions for businesses and homeowners looking to switch to renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and water. Renewable energy sources are becoming increasingly popular as a way to reduce carbon emissions and combat climate change. One of the most promising renewable energy sources is green hydrogen, which is produced by splitting water molecules with electrolysis powered by renewable energies such as solar, wind, or geothermal power. With its potential to revolutionize the energy industry, let's take a look at what it takes to make green hydrogen happen, and how it can benefit us. In order for green hydrogen to become a viable energy source, we need to understand how it works. The life cycle of green hydrogen includes five major steps, electricity source, electrolysis technology, transport method, storage method and end use. Electricity source. In order for electrolysis to take place and produce green hydrogen from water molecules, renewable electricity is needed as input. This electricity can be generated from solar, wind or geothermal power sources. Electrolysis technology. Electrolysis is the process of using electrical current to split water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen gas. The type of electrolyzer used will depend on the scale of production, from residential scale up to large-scale industrial production. Transport method. After being produced via electrolysis process, green hydrogen needs to be transported either in liquid or gaseous form depending on the distance and end-use application. For long-distance transportation over sea-slash-oceans or land routes pipelines are preferred whereas tankers are more suitable for short distances over sea-slash-oceans or land routes. Storage method. Depending on the end-use application different storage methods are needed. Compressed hydrogen gas, CHG, tanks for vehicles-slash-ships, liquid hydrogen, LH2, tanks for aircrafts, cryogenic tanks for stationary applications, underground geological formations such as salt domes or depleted natural gas reservoirs are also potential long-term storage solutions when connected with pipelines networks that can cover large areas in metropolitan regions and across countries if needed. End use. Green hydrogen can be used in multiple ways such as fuel cells for mobility applications, cars slash trucks, aircrafts or ships, injection into natural gas grids, use as feedstock in chemical industry, conversion into synthetic fuels such as methanol etc., electricity generation through fuel cells, in combination with CHP systems. Minimizing environmental impact through optimization of supply chain. The environmental impact created by producing green hydrogen depends on many factors like type of renewable energy resource used, for example, hydroelectricity versus wind versus solar, efficiency rate at each stage of the supply chain etc. It is therefore important that all aspects related to production and transport processes are optimized in order to minimize environmental impact while ensuring economic feasibility at each step along the supply chain. Benefits of introducing green hydrogen into grid and energy systems. By introducing green hydrogen into our grid systems we can expect not only lower carbon emissions but also improved grid stability due to its ability to store surplus electricity generated from renewables during periods when demand is low and discharge this stored electricity when demand increases again thus providing an alternative route for balancing out fluctuations between supply and demand in our grids. Furthermore shifting towards using green hydrogen instead of conventional fossil fuels provides increased system efficiency since no conversion losses occur during these processes compared with other forms of energy storage and conversion like batteries etc. Conclusion Moving towards sustainable use of green hydrogen. As discussed above there are numerous advantages associated with introducing green hydrogen into our grids and energy systems compared with other forms of energy storage and conversion technologies making it one of the most promising renewable technologies available today. However there still remains some challenges that need to be addressed before this technology can become fully viable such as infrastructure development, cost reduction through optimization, standardization etc. Nonetheless when these issues have been successfully resolved then it very much looks like that this clean fuel will play an integral part within our sustainable future. Therefore it appears that transitioning towards using sustainable sources such as green hydrogen is definitely a step worth taking. Thank you for choosing RenewEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, visit us at RenewEnergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today.